In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the basic edits on a preset with the Nuex Trident. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to approach this from two levels. One is going to be a close-up shot from the screen and the two encoders and the knobs and the buttons down below. And then we'll zoom out and we'll work with the reverb and delay and modulation and all that good stuff. Let's start by figuring out how to change amps within a preset. Because we listen to this preset, it's not bad, you know, but we might find another amp that we want to use. So how do we change that? Very simple to do. Use the rotary encoder here on the right hand side, tap on that, and you can now see the signal path. And as a reminder, it is read from right to left. So we use this knob, this encoder, to select any of the different signal blocks or parameters within this preset. I'm going to select amp, press it, and now you can see the amp is a twin reverb. If we want to change that, we then use the knob on the left, and this is the select knob. So let's say, let me just play a note and I'll just toggle through a few of these, a few of these uh, amps here. Now, when it comes to clean, uh, the, J, the, the jazz chorus is always one of my favorites. I'm gonna stick with that one. And now if we go to the right-hand side and we want to say, uh, change any of the different parameters, here's how we do it. So first and foremost, if we wanna select any of the pages, you can see that there are three pages here. We use the parameter, we use the parameter rotary encoder here to select those different uh, pages. So you can see though that the parameters that are available here is like level and that corresponds to the level knob here. So if I make any adjustments, there it is. Now if I go up a page, I can see bass, middle, and treble. So I can make adjustments to any of those that I want to. Let's go up one more level and you can see that I have input, I have input, bright, and gain. Now we have a gain knob, certainly that's not a problem. We have a, a presence knob and that doesn't do anything because there's no presence on this particular uh, amp model, but we have input and we have bright. How do we edit those? Well, it's very simple because we make use of these four buttons down below because they correspond to the different, uh, to the different parameters. For example, noise reduction button works with the page. The amp button works with input. The cab button works with bright. You can see that I'm selecting it with those buttons and that parameter is now being uh, selected. At which point now, if I want to say turn off the bright, I'll select the bright parameter and then I will use the uh, parameter knob to turn it off. Simple as that. So we get something that sounds like this. Obviously we need to make a few adjustments to the gain, but that can also be done with the input because the input corresponds to the jumper cable inputs on an amp. So you have low gain and high gain. So you could go to low gain. Um, if you want to select other parameters, it's just, it's easy. Just make sure that you've selected the page and then use the parameter knob to select those other pages. Now, if we want to go back out to the top level, at that point, we can just do it by tapping on the select uh, select uh, rotary encoder because it also says home there. And it's a little hard to see from this camera angle, but it says home right there at the top. That's to take you home to the top here. Now, if we want to do anything else like turn on noise reduction, we can do it from here. If we want to turn on an EQ, we can do that as well. But if we want to edit that EQ or that noise reduction, again, you would go into the signal path. You would then use the parameter knob to select that particular, uh, that particular signal block. Go ahead and click on it. And this is a noise gate. So if you want to turn it off and on, very simple to do. You just use the, the uh, foot switch below there, or in the, uh, the switch below. And then you have the various parameters that you, not foot switch, but these two buttons. You have the uh, parameters that you can edit here. So let's go ahead and tap back out to the top because it's a clean preset, so we really don't need a noise reduction. But if we want to change, say, the EQ, we could certainly do that by just going over here, turning on EQ, then going into edit it. And from here, you can make uh, all of your edits to the equalization curve. Now, here's one last thing I'm going to show you as well, because this is one of the real standout features about a lot of NewX products, is that we have the ability to change the placement of any of these signal blocks anywhere you want along the signal path. For example, let's say we want the reverb to be all the way at the beginning of the uh, signal path. How do you do that? Very simple to do. Press and hold the parameter, and you can see that it's now blinking. 
So just use the parameter encoder to move it all the way to the beginning, hit it again, and now the reverb is all the way at the beginning of the signal path. Isn't that cool? If you want to tap out and go to the top, go ahead and hit that home button. You can also press and hold to select and you can, uh, you can press and hold the select knob and that will enable you to name the preset whatever you'd like to do. In this case, I'm going to leave it alone, but let's go ahead and get back out to the top. And now let's zoom out and have a little fun with the different foot switches. Okay, so now we're here at the top and I'm going to go ahead and turn off all of these effects for now. And I'm just going to start with the reverb. So I'm going to go over here to the far left side of the Trident and I have my reverb. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And I have my choice between spring, plate, and hall. Now, personally, I love the sound of a plate reverb. It sounds wonderful. I can change the decay. I can change the level so it doesn't take over. And then the other additional bonus here is I have a freeze function built into the reverb. So if I press uh, and hold the foot switch, you get that beautiful sustain. Isn't that wonderful? You can also do that with any of them. So the spring, the plate, the hall, it doesn't matter. So that's one thing you can do. Next thing you're gonna do is turn on the delay. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the reverb, turn on the delay. And we have a choice of BBD. We can use the tape. And of course, the digital reverb. I'll go ahead and change, I'll use the digi reverb. Uh, you can change the level, the time, the repeat. And then what we can do is we can alter how it's routed. So it's routed in parallel. Each effect is routed is, is processed individually. If we go to say the delay going into the reverb, every one of the, let me turn on that noise gate there, having a little electricity noise problem here. Um, all of the uh, delay is going into the reverb and uh, that is giving a, you, you're hearing all of the delay uh, reflections going through a reverb. If we go the other way though, you can just get all kinds of different textures. It's so much fun. We move to the right of that. We've got the modulation. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And we can change it from chorus to tremolo. And then to the right of that, we have uh, the ability to turn on a compressor with the sensitivity and level. We have a filter. And this can be, of course, used in combination with the expression pedal. And then we have pitch. And that's one thing you can do. So I'm going to turn that those off for the moment. You also have a boost here at the bottom and this is your overdrive distortion boost. Now all of that can be selected and altered by simply using the two 
rotor encoders that we talked about before, where you'd go in, find the signal block you want, and then make the adjustments to it, like selecting a different reverb, uh, making a changes to the effects, the boost, selecting a different boost. It's really your choice. So that is the basics of how you edit a preset inside of the Trident without using a computer. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use it with QuickTone. Be sure to check back for future video tutorials like the one coming up where we're gonna cover the QuickTone editor for the new X Trident.